so um, this is a, an equation. Uh, <laughs> it's an ugly equation, but this is an equation of some kind of graph that I want to determine what kind of graph, and after that, graph it. Um, and you'll see this is the general equation, um, and it compares to the general equation of an ellipse. But I know that this is not an ellipse because I have subtraction and I have two squared terms. Right? If I had one squared term and a non-squared term, then I'd have a parabola. If I have two squared terms and there's a sum and the coefficients are the same, then I have a circle. If I have a sum and the coefficients are different, I have an ellipse. If I have a difference, it's a hyperbola. Um, so we're going to actually start very similar to an ellipse, right? Because obviously I'm going to have to do the same kind of steps. Complete the square twice. So group my y's, group my, I'm sorry, group my x's, group my y's, and get my constant on the right. Again, you're going to have to complete the square, so that means that you're going to have to factor out the coefficient in front of the squared term for each group. So I need to factor out a 9 in, out of my x group, so x squared minus 4x, and then plus something to complete that square. Minus, got to factor out that minus, and 16 to get a 1 in front of my y squared. Um, so don't forget that I'm factoring out a negative 16. So, you know, negative 96 divided by negative 16 is positive 6y plus something to complete that square is equal to 252. So um, if I were to distribute everything back through, technically it's the same thing that I had, correct? Double check that, you know, you did that proper. So be careful with the minuses because the minuses, you know, they appear with hyperbolas. Um, what goes into my boxes, right? This box, I take b over 2 and square it. So negative 4 over 2 is negative 2 squared is 4. b over 2, 6 over 2 is 3, squared is 9. But remember that technically I didn't really add 4 to the left because I placed that 4 inside parentheses that have a 9 outside of it. So I really added 9 times 4, or 36. So I need to really add 36 to the right-hand side. Now, I didn't really add 9, correct? I added 16, or I should say negative 16, times 9. So be careful with that negative, okay? Be really careful with that negative. I really added a negative 16 times 9, which is a negative 144. So I have to do the same thing to the right-hand side. So again, if I were to distribute this out, and blah, 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 go back to the beginning, it's the same thing that I had to begin with. 9 times 4 is 36, so I added 36 to the left, I add 36 to the right. Negative 16 times 9 is negative 144, so I subtracted 144 to the left, so I subtract 144 um, to the right. So just be careful with hyperbolas when that negative um, pops up. So, all right, so let's keep going then. And let's finish this off. So 9 times the quantity x minus 2 squared minus 16 times the quantity y plus 3 squared is equal to this sum and difference, which is 144. But remember, in the standard form of the equation of an ellipse and a hyperbola, I need a 1 on the right-hand side. So I'm going to divide by that 144 so that I get that 1 where I need it on the right hand side and then make sure I make a 1 here too, right? So 9 divided by 144, I think 144 is divisible by 9 perfectly, x minus 2 the quantity squared over 16 minus y plus 3 the quantity squared over 144, oh, 9 <laughs> is equal to 1. Ah, now I'm in the form of the equation of a hyperbola and I'm just going to quickly uh, sketch it put it here. No. Let me put it here. And then I'll do the graph on a separate. OK, so here's my equation, my standard form now, so I can identify all the pieces. My um, center is at 2, negative 3. My transverse axis is what? is the x term lead, so it's horizontal. Um, a is 4, b is 3, yeah, a squared, b squared. 
let me start sketching it from there. So the center is 2, negative 3. If I need more space, I'll have to use it. 2, negative 2, 2, negative 2. 2, negative 3 is my center. Maybe I'll do it in green this time. Oh. Yellow. I'll stay with yellow. So my graph's going to be in yellow. My center is at 2, negative 3. My A is 4. My transverse axis is horizontal. So to the right, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Drop it. Vertex. 1, 2, 3, 4. To the left. 1, 2, 3, 4. To the left. Drop it, vertex. So I have, you know, technically 2 plus 4, 6, negative um, 3, and negative 2, negative 3. So my vertices, what did I say, 6, negative 3, and negative 2, negative 3. Let's double check that. The y coordinates should stay the same because we're going left and right. And I'm adding and subtracting 4 to 2, so 2 plus 4 and 2 uh, minus 4, perfect. Let's do our I might do my asymptotes first, and then I'll do my foci. Asymptotes, well, let's finish the graph then to get those. So B units up and down to get my box, and B was three. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Here's my box. Ooh, sorry, one, two, three, up and down from the center. Don't make that mistake. One, two, three, up. One, two, three, down from the center, going through my vertices and these points to make my box. This looks like it's going to open up pretty wide. Going through the center and the edges of this box, or the vertices of this box, you know, to get my asymptotes. Now I know how wide my uh, curve should be because they approach the asymptotes, but they never actually go over them. So here's my graph. Right? Um, my asymptotes, I had to go up B and over A. So the slope is B over A. So let's find the equation of the asymptotes. Y is equal to negative 3 plus or minus what I say, B over A, 3 over 4, X minus 2. My foci, let's find my C. I'm going to need to know C. So A squared plus B squared. I'll put that in a different, just to stay consistent with what I've been doing. A squared plus B squared is C squared. So a squared is 16 plus 9 is c squared. Ooh, this one works out nicely, right? Because 25 is c squared, which works out into 5. So the distance from the center to a focus is 5. From the center to a focus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So approximately here is a focus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Approximately here is a focus. And remember, they should be within the curves. So I'm going right and left, 5 units, right and left, 5 units. I'm affecting the x-coordinate. To the right 5 would be 7. Keep the um, y coordinate. To the left would be 2 minus 5 or negative 3, negative 3. Double check, right? 7, negative 3, negative 3, negative 3. And those are the details of, of this guy. So I'm converting from general to standard and then doing the same thing that I've been doing.